Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna present to you Mini Tool Movie Maker also known as Windows Movie Maker which is a video editing software. Alright let's begin our video. As you can see this is the website of Mini Tool Movie Maker. Well it's pretty easy to download and install this software. Click on this free download red button or download Movie Maker at the top right corner. Once you click on it, the file will start downloading and then when it's downloaded, we are going to click on that file and install it. Once the installation is finished and you open the software, you will have this kind of interface in front of you. As you can see, it's pretty simple and easy to navigate. At the bottom, you have got the timeline where you can add video and audio tracks. In the middle, you have got a video preview screen. Then on the left hand side, you have got the project panel where you can import your media files. And on the top left corner, you have got all these features that you can use inside the software. Alright, now if you want to import your media, you can simply click on the folder icon and upload any media of your choice. In my case, I'll be using a simple video, so just going to select it and click on open. Once you have imported your media inside the software, you can go on the media file, hover it and straight away you can see a preview of it. Then to add it to the timeline, you can simply grab and drag it to your timeline or you can click on the plus button to add it directly. And if you want to delete a media from the timeline, you can select it and press delete. So now that we have added our media to the timeline, I'm gonna select it and go to the top right corner. From there you can see we have got basics, rotation and speed. From basics you can change the contrast, saturation and brightness. Also you can use a different option of LUTs. In the rotation you can rotate your video or image file simply by clicking on this icon. When I click on this it's gonna flip the video horizontally like that. Then I will go to the speed, from here you can increase the speed of the video or simply slower it. Also you can see that we have got this reverse speed option here. So when I click on it and play the video, you are going to see that everything goes backwards, which is pretty cool. That with just one click you can reverse your whole video. And here by clicking on this box, you can simply reverse your video. Making cuts or splitting your videos into parts is super easy to do. Simply drag the cursor to the point where you want to split or cut the video and click on this icon. And adding transitions is super easy as well. So if I want to add transition, I'm gonna click on this transitions tab and here you can see that you have got a big range of options to choose from. If you want a preview of any transition, you can simply hover your cursor on it and it's gonna show you a preview of the transition. And for example, I like this one, Dreamy. So I'll drag it onto the timeline and put it into this box. And when I play it, we have got this cool fit transition. And also if you want to customize it, you can click on it and go to the top right corner. From there, you can change the duration and choose a transition mode as well. Now, if you want to use any effects, you can simply click on effects tab and you can choose from any of those templates. For example, I want to use the cool effect. I will click on it and drag it onto the video I would like to apply. And as you can see, the effect has been applied. In case, if you don't want to use it anymore, you can simply click with the right bottom of your mouse and delete it. Now for the text. If you want to add any text to your videos, here you have got a lot of options to choose from, like title animations, credit animations, and title templates animations as well. For example, if you want to use this one and you want to change the text, you select it and go up to the top right corner. From here, you can change the text. Also, you can choose a different size or font for the text and you can change the color and background as well. Also, you have got a motion feature here where you have got all these motion animations to choose from, which is amazing. And the last feature of the software is the elements. 
from here you can put any of those elements into your video well as you have seen many videos in which social media elements are being used such as like share and subscribe buttons so for example if you want to add this subscribe button element you can simply select it and drag it onto the timeline and from here you can customize it as you want you can make it bigger or smaller and you can place it wherever you like in your video then if you want to add any tracks to the timeline you can simply click on manage tracks button and from there you can add an empty track in case you want to delete any of those tracks you can click again on it and click delete empty track adding audio files is as easy as adding video files it's almost the same i am going to click on import files and from here instead of video i'm going to choose any of the music i've got and i'm gonna click on open then if you want to add it to the timeline again simply click on it and drag it onto the timeline then if you want to edit it you can select it and in the top right corner you have got fade in and fade out effects for your music and if you go back to the project panel and click on music you have got this nine preloaded audio tracks that you can use inside the software which is pretty cool as my editing is done and i want to finish my project exporting it is super easy i am simply going to click on export and from here you can change the name format and the location where you want to save it also if you click on settings here you have got three options to choose from in terms of quality you can use the best better or good option and you can change the resolution as well you can also change the bitrate and the encoder once you are happy with the settings you click on ok and then press on export the rendering time depends on the length of the video Alright guys, finally it's done and that's the video editing software. If you are looking for video editing software then please give it a go. You wouldn't be disappointed. I will leave a link and details for this software in the description down below. So if you want to give it a go, you can click on it and download it for free. I hope you liked the video guys and if you did so, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.